side of fuck you on, boy. Jubies, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas. Eee, super fun. So today we are going to be making gingerbread men from scratch, okay? So I have a list on my phone. I'm literally at Publix right now and I know exactly what I need to pick up. So let me just double check what I need to get and let you guys know. So I'm gonna need butter, softened, granulated sugar, molasses, eggs, white vinegar, baking soda, salt, ginger, cinnamon, ground cloves, and flour. Nothing hard. I have powdered sugar at home, have vanilla extract, you know, meringue powder is the only thing that I think I need. And yeah, so let's go inside the supermarket and pick out what we need. And then we're gonna go home and get this thing started. Let's go, I'm super excited. Super, I've never made gingerbread men from scratch, okay? So I'm excited to see how they're gonna come out. Okay guys, so I found the ground ginger, ground cloves, and the ground cinnamon, if it would focus. I saw this pecan pie and I wanted to try it too. There's the vinegar. I have no clue which flour to get. I think I'm just gonna get the all purple. No, maybe I should get baking flour. Me I know. Me I'm gonna pick up a flour and see what else is on the list. I'll go pick up a flour and what does this say? A flour and I have salt at home. Go get some sugar, flour and sugar next and baking soda. Yeah. All right guys. Got my sugar and my flour. Now we gotta get molasses and eggs. Got the molasses. This is my first time buying molasses. And this is kind of, this is weird, but you know, what we do to vlog and experience. So here we go with the molasses. Now to get some more stuff. Okay guys, so I think we got everything with a little bit of extra, but now we're gonna get in this line and go home okay guys so this is everything that we got from the supermarket the extra stuff you know i put away but this is what we need so this is it take a good look and we're gonna get started soon hey everybody so you know we got chad and heels hey Hi. clean up the wig you know gotta put up the wig so it's not in the food but um, I already spoke to you guys. You guys already know we're making gingerbread cookies from scratch. Here I am waiting on the intro. Oh, I, was, I, was like, I was like, she's just getting right into it. They don't, right. she, they ain't got no, no time no, to no, wait. No, they but didn't I forgot that y'all, I it forgot I'm, hi, we're, hey. We're new here, yeah. Hey, I forgot, we're I just got it. here. Where have you been? I was upstairs, bunning game. Yeah, Yeah. how do you feel today? They don't, they don't think A little tired, you, you know, yeah. but making cookies, so yeah. I'm down. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Something new. Something new. So where's my phone? Because we have everything on my phone. Right. I'm gonna read to you guys what we're really doing here. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm not gonna do that. Let's just do ingredient by ingredient. So yeah. when you're like when you're putting ingredient in, you just tell them yeah. how much you were doing. Instead yeah. of reading out the whole list. Y'all are not gonna remember anyway. And then you're gonna, gonna say say it again. You're gonna say tell me again. And then you're gonna say, Can you type it out? Right. right. I wanna you make it. You know it's on Google. You know that's where she's reading off of. This is Google.com. Like, come on. Come on. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> that was the first one you were on and you said that ain't it. And I was like, here we go. I was like, you sure that said how to make gingerbread cookies? So here we are. Alright. So what we're first gonna do is we're gonna beat butter, sugar, and molasses with this standing mixer. Alright. In this large bowl. In this large bowl. This yeah. is gonna be you. Alright. This is gonna be you. Alright. Take right. the spoon. I'm ready. And, um, let's just get the butter. Okay. Yeah, let's get the butter. Butter. Well, you put the butter in the bowl. Measuring butter. 
I'll, I'll do the sugar. I'll do the sugar and the molasses. All right, but so measuring so butter just. So I believe it is one cup of, of butter. Sugar. One cup of sugar. Oh, I was like, how is it gonna be a cup of stick butter? A one cup of butter stick in them? Isn't that a stick? Yeah. Oh, is it? Is I that, don't know. Is that how? I've got no clue. Oh, maybe. Oh, what the? What is this? Ha. ha. Oh. Oh, a this quarter cup. Neat. Oh, that oh, one's so nice. Oh, you were right. This is kind of neat, guys. Let me show you. Come on, let me be an influencer. Okay, I, I'm obviously not influencing. No man, it doesn't make no sense I tried to show it. Okay, there we go. You see, that's really neat that they did it like this. This is my first time seeing it like this. In that type of package. Here is a cup of sugar going okay, in. Put it in. Cup of sugar, mm -hmm. first ingredient going in. Wow. Ooh, mm. you made Ooh. that pretty. Ooh. You made that pretty. Ooh. One thing of butter. So how many, how how much butter is supposed to go in there? I believe it's four then. If one is, if it's a cup, it's one cup. Yeah, so if it's a cup and they say this is a quarter, that means you need four. That's a lot. Well, no, not for a whole batch of cookies. Right? But you think about it for a whole batch of cookies, you're like, eh, sounds about right. Can work, can work, Lee. Oh, and you left it out so it can get soft. Mm hmm yes I did, that's the bakery. Yes I did. That's the yes bakery. I did. Yes, I that's did. the baker in me. Yeah. It's a one large egg. I just one egg. I guess so. Have a little space. I'm just begging a little bit of space. Hmm? A little oh. bit of space. Just begging you a little bit of space. Don't crack the shell in there and put it in there. That's smart, Chad. Not not named it. So I'm a chef. I'm a baker. Just wanted to make sure. Thanks. Better safe than sorry, kids. That's true. You did eat some gingerbread and you just said, mm -mm, I eat in the gingerbread bone. Something's crunchy. Ooh, that was funny. That I'm was a funny. funny person. That was funny. That was I'm funny. a funny person. Why do you think I'm over here? One cup of molasses. I will get that. You see, this is my first time. What are molasses? I'll see it here. This is my first time really using molasses. Molasses. I've never used it. Mm-mm. Oh, it's not. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Me not like that. Mm. Mm. Well, it doesn't have a strong smell. It's molasses. Ooh, over here. Look at this. Piece. This see. butter did not get softened like it was supposed to. You know, it's been out for a while too. I know. Alright, this is the one cup of molasses. You ready? Hold on, let me get this big piece of butter. You know, you're supposed to use the hand mixer though. I know, but like with the big piece of butter, I mm -hmm. feel like it would have just like flew everywhere. Understood. Can go if I had no. No, I feel like that's gonna just splash up on me. Yeah, so Let me fold it. Let me fold it in first. Well, I could take out everything on the top because. Right. Oh, you guys yeah. can't see. I'm sorry. Aww. Be nice to them. Be nice to the Julie's. Sweet to them. You know, go talk to them. This don't look good right now, but. Mm -hmm. Look at my ashy elbows, guys. Make sure to watch the ads. <laughs> please. <laughs> it's like, as please. you can see, tool tips. Oh, you took the thing away. I was using that as a. Oh, what? Oh, okay. We have this. Sushi. So fun today. Sushi. Now it says that we need two tablespoons of white vinegar. Vinegar? It says that that's the key to having soft. Gingerbread cookies. You can't just bake them less. I'm afraid to do it over the 
The only bit over the cookie and squash. Give me the salt. Give me the salt. That we use all in here? Yeah. It's two? It's two. No man. Two teaspoon or a tablespoon? Tablespoon is set. No man. Hmm. You don't like this. Murder. Like just one, one, just one, no just one. Well, just one. Follow the recipe. I mm. said two tablespoons. Mm -mm, don't all it. No child. It said it's supposed to curgle. It said it's supposed to curgle. Yeah, ready, child. It said it's supposed to it's curgle. It's literally made. The mixture. It said it's supposed to. It said it's supposed to. It said it's supposed to. She's on my nervous. Yuck! You saw them? Let's go see this. Come on, show them. Hold on. This is so yucky. Oh my god. Are you guys seeing this? No, sir. No, man. No, no. Baking soda or baking powder? Baking soda. You read it. Baking soda. This can't open. One teaspoon. Three. And now on the salt, you'll see how. You'll see half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was easy. Oh. Okay. Spoke soon. Yeah, lick off this one. I'm not gonna lie guys. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. It's really not looking promising. But there's no flour in there yet. Right. So there all hope is not lost. Mm -hmm. Salt. Two teaspoons of brown ginger. Wait, so Drew, tell me, is this supposed to stay curdled forever? Or is it no longer gonna be curdled once I whip a certain amount? Oh man. Eh eh. One thing on ginger. Maybe we'll stop with it. Come in and watch it. What if we over beat it and second? Jeez on a ginger, a ginger bread. Oh yeah. What's that? Cinnamon? Mm -hmm, that's cinnamon. Now it's brown cloves now. Next. It's a lot of powders and herbal in it. Ready? Right? Alright, pour mixture. You've done a good job. So that's them cloves. That's the cloves. The cloves are dark like coffee rounds. And now it's time for the five cups of flour. Five? Five. Then five cups of flour. So come. So guys, this is the last ingredient. So we're just gonna come back. Oh, you ready? I was ready for you to just put it. Okay, we're gonna come back when we put in the two other cups and when the dough mix because Yeah. No, you guys have been watching this for a long time. No, no, it's not really there after. Entertain you. Guys, this oh. is looking thick. Is that gingerbread dough thick? I don't know. It's so calm. Alright guys, see you when we have dough. Because this ain't it. Can you put the sugar in there? 
How many cup of sugar? One. Yes, one. Yeah. So guys, oh sorry, let's move. Hey, the kitchen aid work, you know? The kitchen aid put in some work magic in work. Aspect. The kitchen aid work. That's the door right there. Oh, come on now. Um, there's a button. Yeah, up here. Oh, it is like that. She did that. She, she did that. Man. She did that. She's still right on the back side. Now that we have a door, let me get the instructions, because I don't know what to do now. This door is thick, guys. I don't know what to do now. So it's saying that we'll have to wrap the door in plastic. We need to make sure some of plastic. So, one second. What are you doing? I drew. Try it first before I do anything. Just try. I'm gonna add a little vanilla. Like it wants some more sugar. And a dash of vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, that big mixture. Yeah, it's a big mixture. Of vanilla sugar. And that even that even gonna reach our life. That's true. It's like you want some more sugar too, child. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm gonna pour some more in there. Guys. I'm gonna pour some more in there. Pour some right there. Alright. That's probably good for the whole song. Mm -hmm. Get a little more into the corner here. Yeah? It's bitter. Remember ice now? Go go pan it, you know? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cho, cho, cho. But other than that, it not taste bad. It not taste bad. It taste bad something. It not taste bad. It we just like sweet things. If you go, if you go like sweet things, it probably would have worked. Yeah. yeah. Not for me though. Y'all stay safe. So the plastic here, one more time. It might not be the plastic that they had in mind, but it's all we got. So guys, we're gonna remix this. Put it in the plastic and then put it in the fridge to chill. So we'll just come back and start recording again when the time is up in the fridge and it's worth doing something else, okay? Let's do that. Hey! It feels like it's been forever. Anyway, the cookie dough roll out. It's cold yes. and it's firm. Roll out and I put it in the pot. It's ready to go. Like what I'm set. Lift uh -huh. it up for them. Smile. Yeah. Men don't want to take it off. Stop. Sorry. That was your 9.30 a.m. alarm. Going off right now at 9.30 p.m. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. So now we got these nice cutters. You know. Snowman. Candy cane. Star. You gotta hold the colored way up so they Sorry. can see. Star. Star. The actual gingerbread man. Gingerbread man. A present. And a tree. A tree. So now we have a cut. And I'm gonna speed it up. You know the vibes. That's appropriate? Let me know. Okay, okay. What are we gonna put there? it's best to cook the cookies cold to get a nice chewy and not hard gingerbread so we cut these out and they're very cute and sweet um i'm gonna lift one up so when it comes to them yeah yeah so these are the cookies right here and it says it's best to cook them cool so i will put them back in the freezer watch dedication over here uh, watch gentleman watch gentleman chef oh mm -mm. She's um, oh. perfection. The oven just got off, you know, so we could actually put these in now since they're cold. Yeah, that's true, because they're cold right now. So here you have our first batch. Right. There's some more dough to be re-rolled out, the extras, but, oh, it, oh, you don't put anything on the pan? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's non-stick life, huh? Yeah, you're All sure. right. come on. There you go, I put one. Act like you know. All right, let me put a candy cane on there. More on that, let me have a swaddle. Oh, shoot. 
Did I was just about so? to put one right next to each other and then I thought the same thing. Well, we have enough dough in us, so. Well, if them swell, it's just gingerbread cake. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to them something there. Not us trying to justify gingerbread cake. No, 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 cake. that close. No? I don't think anything else will fit better right here in this corner That's than true. this right here. Let's go together, everybody. Let's, Let's go. go. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. Into the oven we go. Into the oven we go. You know what? You're not in my oven dirty. I know. Yes, guys. The oven is a little bit stained. Yo. It's hard. It's hard to clean. Y'all, 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 y'all always got something to say. Y'all, y'all always got something to say. Oh my! Hot. What? You mean the part right underneath the? Oh, these are hot. Yes. Yeah, because it's kind of right underneath the oven. See this here. What did, which one did you want? Alright guys, so we are gonna roll out and we're gonna cut out the next set. We'll give you a baking update shortly. Hair back up, you know. Okay guys, so while the cookies are baking, I have a timer on my phone on. Just in case, you know, they finish while I'm doing this. I'm gonna start making the frosting. So, it's not telling me... Let me double check. How much to you? Okay, yes it is. Four cup of powder sugar. What? Not so much. Medieval team up, medieval up so much. All right, so we're just gonna pour all of this in here. And we're just gonna freestyle it, you know what I mean? We're just gonna do it like this, you know what I mean? What? What's really, what's the worst that can happen? that don't know if it's focusing but you can see the it's very thick it's very sweet me like it was very sweet the cookies are done hold on Me eat this. They look a little black. And you see it's because I trust the recipe, you know. The next batch, I'm not going to trust the recipe. I'm going to show them what I'm going to show them. Like, them not look terrible. But the edges are a little black. I'm going to like that. Why should I watch them instead of putting blind trust and faith in the recipe? I'm going to try not to touch them. Them kind of soft, but them not really. Like them not feel this. Like it bend. I guess that's a gingerbread fist here. I guess so. 
but I'm gonna try again with the next batch. So these I feel like came out a little bit better, like the shape wise, cause they're like, I put them in the freezer instead of the fridge. So they're very cold and we're just gonna put them into the oven now. So I put these in for less time and they literally came out the exact way that I want them. Like, look how soft, like I love that. This is how I want my cookies. So yay for batch number two. We still have some more in the oven and some more to roll out, but this is where we are, waiting for them to cool. So guys, we're gonna try the cookies. Let me show you the texture first though. These came out very soft and nice. Look at me, not the cook, not chad, yeah. Very soft and nice. And when you dip it in all the icing. It's actually good. I actually, I actually like it though. I'm gonna just say that for all of when you when you said chat come try it while it's still hot, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, I have to try it. Oh my god! But it's actually good. No, I actually like this. It's busting, actually. It's almost busting status. What's when you um, when I decorate? Not yet. Them just come out, but they're very soft and nice. You know what I'm Yeah, but the icing is liquidy. Yeah, I made it kind of so I could like drizzle it on top. Oh. Uh, Cause we never have enough icing sugar. But this is nice, man. Would you even want to do? What would I like if I now decorate them? Would you be upset? So guys, the way that I'm gonna decorate them, since you know the icing dilemma, is I'm gonna take it in my hand and I'm just gonna do a drizzle. And then, you know, I'm doing it over the bowl just in case, you know, some like comes off because it's so liquidy that it, you know, just drizzles back into the bowl. And yeah, so I'll show you guys the finished product when I'm finished doing majority of them. So guys, this is how I decorated them. I really had a vision of doing something else, but honestly they taste so good that they don't even need all that I wanted to do. Like I wanted to do like different color icings and make the gingerbread men look like they had on clothes, but I don't have that in me. So this is what we work it with and they mm. taste good. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. How you feel about them? You like how they look? Why are you eating? Take the elastic band out of your mouth, Chad. You're gonna chew better. Let me take out my hair, cause you know. We did the we did the mom, mm. auntie, sister thing, which is making the cookies, you know. Now we can be cute again. But, this is the end of our video. If you did like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow Chad's channel. Follow our siblings channel. It's gonna be in my description below. And see me here again tomorrow because we're continuing Vlogmas. You know the vibe. And go to his channel because he's doing Vlogmas too. So if you watch mine first, go over there. If you watch mine second, I deserve to be first tomorrow. And that's a period. And if I was first and he's second tomorrow, I guess, whatever. Bye. Later.